It's a privilege to be recording Who Alone is Good with two very distinguished colleagues this evening. We've got Adrian Lucas doing the recording and we've got the New Zealand tenor Nicholas Madden doing the solo part. It was Nick's voice that I had in my mind as I wrote this piece. He and I go back a long way. It goes back to the time when I appointed him to his first post in this country as a lay clerk in Ely Cathedral Choir. He's gone on to many great things centred on Windsor and also singing in many leading ensembles in this uh, country's among the leading professional choirs. We're recording in Worcester, where Adrian Lucas was a very distinguished director of music at the cathedral for 15 years before he opted to become a freelance musician. It's also where I began my professional career. St Martin's Church is a beautiful building with a fine acoustic and a very versatile organ. It's a Nicholson, which was refurbished by Trevor Tipple in the year 2000. I'm hoping that the music, with its obvious stylistic influences of Howells and Britain, speaks for itself. But I'd just like to say a little word about the text. I was encouraged to discover and explore the writings of St Francis by Canon Peter Sills. He and I worked together for many years in either cathedral, and it was Peter's admiration and love for those writings of St Francis which bore fruit and encouraged me to read them very carefully and to grow very fond of them myself. I believe that the music is already there in the exhortations which Francis directs to his brothers in Christ and by extension to, to us all. I'm just trying to identify and discover and realise that music in this piece. <laughs> 